like to just like fly, just not with wings and just like I can just go up and I can fly. I would like go to space because it would be cool to go to the moon and like you could fly around there. Yeah, I'd take a rocket ship up there and then I'd just fly out in the space. I've been working with uh, Theatre of Image for a long time now, about three or four years. Every school holidays they put on a set of workshops. The idea for this set of workshops was Let's Fly. So we use that to create pieces of music with the kids. Here comes the first sound. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You can lie down if you want. OK, here's the first sound. Thumb up or sky, thumb down on the ground. So firstly, I use percussion instruments. That usually helps because uh, someone can usually get some sort of a sound on a percussion instrument. So rather than creating or trying to create pieces of amazing music, I'm sort of more or less putting sound together in different ways. My goal for the workshops is to just educate the kids in the idea that uh, composition isn't that difficult. Squawk! Squawk! If you get a melody, what you can then do to that melody, you know, you can change it a little bit, you can add, add other instruments to it. Uh, just by doing that, you, I like to think of it as taking one colour and maybe adding another colour to it. So, so you see what happens. Sure, sometimes you come up with brown or black or whatever and, and it doesn't sound all that good, but other times you can come up with amazing things. Basically what I wanted the kids to come away with was uh, something that uh, symbolised flight by having the sensation of a ground and having the sensation of a sky. So uh, we tried to, well, what we tried to do is to introduce a one-point perspective exercise that gave a very solid sense of a ground and solid sense of space, and then they could invent whatever they thought let's fly meant in the sky so that it was a clear... Uh, literal depiction of something flying, and that was open to their interpretation. I've done butterflies and clouds, and now I'm doing a bee. Oh, we have we have to draw draw a, a line course. We had to do a bit there. Then we had to go and draw other lines there. What I hope they get out of it is just that they can finish a picture uh, and that they've enjoyed the sensation of colour for colour's sake uh, and if they've uh, been able to express some of the ideas about flying either through the animal world or through um, you know, symbols in their own world uh, that would be fine. Get your wings ready and I want you to jump over the edge of the nest and fly. Go! Fly! Fly, buddy! It allows the children to enter into the physical theatre because obviously the word fly is a verb, a physical verb, so uh, we can really look into some exciting characters that fly, so all sorts of animals and um, magical creatures human beings that can fly in aeroplanes and 
and uh, rocket ships and astronauts, all that sort of stuff. So there's some really nice characters that come out of the theme, Let's Fly. Make the shape of a hot air balloon. It's interesting to see the dynamic of the class change over the two dates. Um, very much, uh, you know, a lot of it um, is about, you know, types of personalities coming together. So there are, there are kids that immediately find each other and stick together, and some kids already know each other. Chin to chin! <laughs> back to back! I really hope that um, they take away confidence, uh, listening skills, uh, communicating skills. A lot of the little ones are still um, finding it hard to actually say anything um, loudly or with any kind of confidence. So it's just really about um, letting them find their voice as an actor. <laughs> Thank you.